What's going on everybody? Ginger on wheels here. We just got the InMotion RS from Voro Motors and we're going to do a quick unboxing POV style. You're strapped to my head right now, but I want to show you how they pack these things. I don't even know. So we're going to see if they do a good job or what's going on here. I just obviously opened the box like this. I do believe it's upside down right now though. I'm going to flip it over and then pull the box off the top because this thing is massive. Arguably one of the biggest scooter boxes that I've ever seen in my life. Not arguably, definitely. Okay, I wonder if I can flip it over with all these flaps out and then try and set it up right somehow. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, it's heavy. Okay, okay, upside down with the flaps out. Let's try and lift it. Is this gonna work? If I had two people, this would be easy. That being said, if you have two people, get your second people right now and have them help you lift this. Whew. One box. Keep your box. You never know if you're going to have to ship it back for repairs. Oh, look at that. That's cool. They got custom packaging on it. That is really cool. They have a little china on the back. Does it come in black? At Voro, yes. That's cool. We're going to need a picture of that. Let's get some lights on in here. There we go. Much better, right? All right. Looks like we have got some instructions. Tells you how to take it apart. Open the package, take out the six connecting buckles and lift the outer box upwards. Lift the handlebars out the way, lock the handlebars, put the handlebars on, put the fender on, connect everything up. Straightforward. Little metal, metal buckles on here too. Excellent job with the packaging on this thing. It is not damaged at all. Meticulous. That's just, okay. So remove the metal, remove the buckles you say. One buckles. Two buckles, a three buckles, stuck buckle, buckle. Okay, now lift the outer box upwards, you say. I like how they thought of this. They're like, people are going to hurt themselves. Let's make instructions. Look at that packaging. It's like Legos of foam with a scooter in there. Beautiful. We've got our manual right on top here. Custom little slot in the foam. So much work went into designing this package, I promise you. This is not easy to do. Oh, it's all black. So cool. This is spring loaded. A little squeaky, but spring loaded. Oh, it locks. It's got a little foam pad on the back here too that squishes. That is awesome. It clicks into place. It's got little clicker bars. This is a different mechanism than the E-Wheels one, or maybe they just updated it for like a version two. Clicks into place. Buckle goes up. I said buckle goes up. What are we stuck on here? Oh, you just got a yoink on it. Pretty hard there. This little pin here, spring loaded still, yep push it down and then it screws into that hole. Wow. That folding latch feels much more secure than the one on the RS uh, from E-Wheels or the generation one RS, I should say. Looks like they ship it with the handlebars at the maximum height here. If you want to adjust the handlebar height, it's really easy. Just undo these four screws, slide the two bars down through the holders here and then tighten the screws back up. This is so sick. I love this. Yes, this is why I do this for my job. Days like today where you get to look at the newest, latest and greatest gadgets. Oh, they even have foam in the accessories box. Check that out. Perfect for the fender, not damaged at all. And that's, you can ensure these brackets won't be bent now because it was stuffed in there so perfectly. And when you go to put it on your scooter, it'll line up all by itself. You won't have to dink with it. Got your headlight here with a reflector piece. Accessories box and a charger box. I'd be willing to bet money. This will be all our screws and stuff. Yep. Hardware in here. Ooh, it's got a little decal. The midnight decal. Check it out. That's sick. Reflector pieces. These are adhesive. I'm just stick those. I think they have spots to stick them, but comes with this multi-tool. Thank God they included real tools. You got your two Allen wrenches here for adjusting the suspension height, and then this for adjusting or for tightening things on the handlebars. I'm glad they finally recognized that this tool is not very sufficient. It works, don't get me wrong. It's just annoying to have to turn this whole thing around. It's too big, but this will be good for it. Throw it in your backpack, good to go. Okay, let's check out what charger this thing ships with. Please be five amps, please be five amps. Please be five amps. All right, power. Not great power, it's all right. 84 volt, five amp, thank you. 420 watts. Wink, wink. So with a five amp charger on a 40 amp hour battery, I'm gonna charge up in about eight hours, then maybe an hour for cell balancing. Good stuff. Oh yes, this is so cool looking. I'm gonna be extra careful with the scooter. This is gonna be my new baby. For those of you who have been asking, should I get the RS or the GTR? The GTR is a sick off-roading scooter, don't get me wrong. Look, uh, like we take that thing out, but it's not excellent on the streets just could be better. It's a little short in the deck area. 
which makes it like extra poppy off-road. It's also got huge suspension. It seems a little bit unnecessary for the streets. And on top of that, it has a 35 amp hour battery and this RS has a 40 amp hour battery. So more battery and it's faster. I don't know if it's because of a result of the bigger battery, but this RS is faster than the GTR. There's no doubt. Not by much. Don't get me wrong. It's not you're, it's gonna be hard to notice unless you're a scooter enthusiast, but it is faster. Pop these bars on real quick. Looks like they go, they wanna go this way. Look at that, little gripped holder. Very cool. Get my hardware here. Oh, the hardware is, uh, it's got two little individual baggies inside of this bag. At least you can tell these screws are for the fender. These ones are for the handlebar. Let's get the handlebar ones open. Should be four. Oh, four and a grub screw. What's, what's this screw for? Guess we'll find out. Probably says in that beautiful manual. Let's check out the manual. Lots of work goes into these things. What you should include, what you shouldn't include. Maybe full color, black and white, warranty card maybe. Oh, the legal disclaimer and maintenance. Okay, that's good. They have a trademark statement in here, wow. Intellectual property, yeah, they're not messing around with this. Looks like we got a color manual with the, is this for the new display? Yeah, new, man, new manual for the new display. This is not the same version as the uh, Gen 1. That one's scratched really easily. Quick start guide, this is what I was after. Assembly. yep, did that, did that. Four screws there, screws for that. Am I missing something here? What's that? Oh, that big screw is for the headlight. That's gonna go through right there. And that's gonna screw on right there. Ow! Bars to the dome, and I dropped the screw. Fail! Come on, don't do me like this. All bent over with bars dangling off my head. Can we please just find the threads here? Okay, tighten that all down later. Bad handlebars, bad. Looks like someone, they had a screw in here and a screw in here, maybe for testing. And on the left side of the package, we should have the handlebar screws. Oh wait, no, these are for the fender. I'm dumb, where'd the handlebar screws go? ADD at its finest. Oh good. The tool that they give you, it works for the suspension and the handlebar screws. God. So you can see this has a little bit of play back and forth and you don't want to tighten it all the way forward or all the way backward. You want it to be like kind of centered in the middle here so that the bars are getting pushed against those ridged parts. So I'm going to put one screw in here, not tighten it all the way down. Another screw here. By the way, by the way, you do things to my body. That's about where I want the bars. Cash money. Get the plugs plugged in and see if the thing turns on. Color-coded plugs, very hard to screw up, unless you're colorblind. Then you should probably get a friend to help you. Not sure I'm a fan of that wire management here, but nothing a couple of zip ties can't solve. Blue, is this, they still? Oh no, okay, let's see. Orange, orange. Okay, we're all hooked up, I think. Oh, you gotta do your headlight down here too, don't forget. There we go. Let's see if we can wrap these cables up a bit more. I wish they included a couple extra feet of the swirly stuff so that you could, you know, manage all this stuff up here. Okay, moment of truth. Let's see if she turns on. The power button. Oh yeah, we have a display. There's a little meter on the old version one RS that had a battery bar at the bottom of the screen and it was so accurate. This makes me sad. They replaced it with just a five bar battery gauge. Now you have to check the app. So you need a little phone holder, which they don't include. Thank you. Sucks. Get these grips unwrapped. This is so insanely dope. I love the red and black on the display though. It does match the aesthetic of the scooter. I'm slacking, I should put these other two in. I like that the display comes tight enough that it's not gonna move when you're riding, but loose enough that you can move it to set it up. I need to give Vora a phone call when I'm done here and just say, oh my God, thank you. So sick. This is a Voro demo scooter, but they do have these in stock, by the way. They're $39.99 now. I don't think they're $3,500 anymore. They were for pre-orders, but obviously we're not pre-ordering anymore. Got them in stock. Great little tool. Very nice touch. Make sure these are really tight. Going 70 miles an hour on this scooter. 65. Okay, all tight. This little thing right here. Does it come off without any adhesive residue? Oh, that's your serial number. Maybe leave that on or write it down. Yeah, got adhesive goop. That sucks. Oh well. Take this thing out of the box. Maybe not. This thing is so friggin' heavy. Of course it doesn't want to come out by itself. Why would it do that? That would make everything so much easier. Okay, kickstand, adjustable height maybe? Definitely a redesign on the kickstand. Much better kickstand. I'm gonna pause the video for a second, just clean up this mess. Ta-da! Okay, I'm back. I also forgot I was filming a video because I was so excited to get this thing together that I put the fender on while you weren't looking. But there's just one screw that goes on the top, it's smaller, and then two screws on the sides fit on what this tool they include and that's it. Very simple. But I also realized these included reflectors are in case you ever need to take the deck off 
these little stickers, they have screws underneath them. So you have to take the stickers off. And I was kind of sad when I did that for the E-Wheels one because they didn't include fresh stickers, but now I got freshies. So if you ever need to take the deck off, you just peel these off and then you have spares. A couple spare reflectors too, in case the stick em stops working. Can we just talk about this thing though? It is freaking beautiful. The redesigned folding latch up front, the redesigned display, which doesn't scratch, might take it off. Let's see if the actual display scratches. That's my job. Oh God, that's beautiful. Oh yeah, that is sick. Has a redesigned kickstand. It's got a plastic foot on it now that sits flush with the floor. Very important for my hardwood floor. A lot of these scooters have really pointy sharp kickstands and they leave marks like dents in the hardwood floor. But this one is not going to do that. I love the all black aesthetic. The five amp included metal charger. Ooh, we even got charge port covers for the little baby charge ports. Yeah, this thing, they thought about everything on this scooter. This is so nice. They have little lines here for the motor wires and for the uh, rear swing arms. So if these ever start coming loose, you'll notice because these dots won't be lined up anymore. Shall we? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. We are gonna be riding the crap out of this thing. I love this. Actual working turn signals on an electric scooter. How many other scooters have that? This thing still lights up the whole, whoa, this is a more white color than the other one. Not as yellow as I would like turn signals to be. That's kind of white, but works. And you know what it works better than? Nothing. Our headlight works. I need to tighten this up still. Horn? Oh, full blown car horn. D for dual motor. I'm assuming I change that by holding this button. Yep. Hold the middle button on the left, dual motor off. It does have an app too. Forgot to mention that. I think you just download the InMotion app and connect it to your scooter. I don't know that Boro has their own app yet. I'm so excited. I want to ride this thing, but I got the other stuff to do today. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see me ride around on this thing, which I know you do. And thanks for watching my unboxing. I'll see you guys next time. Sound good?